following account, condensed from Cotton Mather's personal diary, focuses on illnesses in his own household, including those of his wife, nine children, and a maidservant over the course of six weeks during October through November, 1713. 18 October. The measles coming into the town, it is likely to be a time of sickness. 19 October. I must lay hold on the occasion to awaken piety and preparation for death in the souls of the children. 24 October. My son Increase fell sick. 26 October. I must quicken the preparation of my domestics. 27 October. My desirable daughter Nibby is now lying very sick of the measles. 28 October. A very sensible calamity has begun upon the town with some degree of mortality. 30 October. The spreading of the measles is much worse in families where they conflict with poverty. This day my consort, my wife, for whom I was in much distress, lest she should be arrested with the measles, which have proved fatal to women that were with child, after too diligent an attendance on her sick family, was surprised with her travail. She went into labor and graciously delivered her of both a son and a daughter, wherein I received numberless favors of God. My dear Katie is now also down with the measles. One November, Lord's Day. This day I baptized my newborn twins, so I called them Eleazar and Martha. Four November. In my poor family now, first, my wife has the measles appearing on her. My daughter Nancy is also full of them. My daughter Lizzie is likewise full of them. My daughter Jerusha droops and seems to have them appearing. My servant maid lies very full and ill of them. Help, Lord, and look mercifully on my poor, sad, sinful family. 5 November. My little son Samuel is now full of the measles. 7 November. My consort is in a dangerous condition and can get no rest. Death is much feared for her. So I humbled myself before the Lord for my own sins, that his wrath may be turned away. 8 November. For these many months I have often, often expressed my fear unto my friends concerning the measles. And now the thing that I greatly feared is coming upon me. This day we are astonished at the surprising symptoms of death upon my wife. Oh, the sad cup which my father has appointed me. God made her willing to die. God extinguished in her the fear of death. God enabled her to commit herself into the hands of a great and good savior. Yea, and to cast her orphans there too. I prayed with her many times and left nothing undone. 9 November. On Monday, 9 November, between 3 and 4 in the afternoon, my dear, dear, dear friend expired. I cried to heaven. 10 November. I am grievously tried with the threatening sickness of my discreet, pious, lovely daughter, Catherine, and a fever which gives a violent shock to the very life of my dear, pretty Jerusha. 11 November. This day, I interred the earthly part of my dear consort. 12 November. The epidemical malady began upon this town is like to pass through the country. It might be a service unto the public to insert in the newspaper a brief direction for the managing of the sick. I will advise with a physician or two. 13 November. I hear of some aged and bedrid people, which I design speedily to visit. 
14 November. This morning, the death of my maidservant, whose measles passed into a malignant fever. Oh, the trial which I am this day called unto in the dying circumstances of my dear little Jerusha. The two newborns are languishing in the arms of death. 15 November, my little Jerusha, the dear little creature lies in dying circumstances. Though I pray and cry to the Lord, Lord, she is thine, thy will be done. 18 November, about midnight, little Eleazar died. 20 November, the distressed families of the poor to which I dispense are now so many. Little Martha died about 10 o'clock a.m. I begged, I begged that such a bitter cup as the death of that lovely Jerusha might pass from me. 21 November, betwixt nine hours and 10 hours at night, my lovely Jerusha expired. She was two years and about seven months old. Just before she died, she asked me to pray with her, which I did, and I gave her up unto the Lord. Just as she died, she said, that she would go to Jesus Christ. Lord, I am oppressed, undertake for me. 23 November, my poor family is now left without any infant in it or any under seven years of age. This day, I followed my dear Jerusha to the grave with resolutions, especially what I may do for my own and other children. 28 November, Breathing in the midst of so many deaths, what can there be so needful and so proper for me as for me to die daily and become a man dead unto this world? 17 December. This day was kept as a day of prayer in the several churches of Boston because of the heavy calamity on the town. And a liberal collection was made for the relief of the poor under the calamity of sickness and growing scarcity. It was a most bitter season. 23 December, I have given to the printer a letter about the right management of the sick under the distemper of measles, which is now spreading and raging in the country. I propose to scatter it into all parts to save many lives.